Hello and welcome to this infinitely virtual training video. In this video we will learn how to configure Outlook for RPC over HTTP. Please be aware that RPC over HTTP only works in Outlook 2003 or later. This video describes the generic process for configuring Outlook to use RPC over HTTP to access and exchange email server. For the specific configuration settings for your Exchange email server, contact your Exchange server administrator. Go to the control panel and open Mail. Click on the Email Accounts button. Click New on the Email tab. Select Manually Configure Server Settings or Additional Server Types and click Next. Select Microsoft Exchange and click Next. Type in the name of your Exchange Server in the Microsoft Exchange Server field. This information is provided by your Exchange Server Administrator. Type in your username. If you are not sure about your username, contact your Exchange Server Administrator. Make sure the Used Cached Exchange Mode option is selected and click on More Settings. Click on the Connection tab. Check the Connect to my Exchange Mailbox using HTTP option and click on Exchange Proxy Settings. Fill in the URL for the proxy server for Exchange. This information is provided by your Exchange Server Administrator. Make sure the Connect using SSL only on fast networks and on slow networks options are checked. Select Basic Authentication for the Proxy Authentication settings and click OK. Click on OK. Click on Check Name. Type in your username and password and click on OK. You may need to include the domain name with your username. Your Exchange Server Administrator can provide the domain name for your username. After the Exchange Server validates your login credentials, both the Microsoft Exchange Server and Username fields will be underlined. On the following screens, click Next, Finished and Closed and you are done. When you open Outlook, it will ask for your username and password. You may need to include the domain name with your username. For more information on virtual server hosting, office virtualization or cloud computing, please visit www.infinitelyvirtual.com.